Identification and destination, please. C.J. Thorpe, traveling to the Mashunda system. Ah, our little roving adventurer. I didn't recognize you, man. How long has it been? Heard any interesting stories out there? If I got a drug out every time people ask me that. I know, I know. I did hear a good one, though. Might be worth your time. And mine. I'm all ears. Okay, so it's a period of civil war, right? And the small rebel spacecraft is fleeing from a huge Imperial moonship. The Imperials, though, soon catch up and invade the spacecraft, and the fight breaks out. The rebels get slaughtered, but one of them, a princess, quickly manages to program a call for help into one of her robot servants. Just in time, the robot escapes, taking along his gold-plated buddy. As the final rebel is killed, the Imperials rummage through the ship when they suddenly encounter one last survivor, the princess. They capture her. Meanwhile, the two robot friends have crash-landed on a faraway desert planet. Almost right away, they get captured by scavengers, slave dealers. These little guys ride around in a giant sand ship from which they sell their stuff. And one of their customers that particular day is an old dew farmer who lives in a sand igloo with his wife and nephew. The scrappers unload their wares, and the old farmer buys two slaves from them, the gold-plated robot and a red robot. The red robot, however, turns out to be a bad robot, so then they pick the golden guy's friend instead. That night, the farm boy cleans up the two robots in his garage when he accidentally hits a button and the distress call starts playing. In it, the princess says she needs help from an old family friend who's a wizard and a Civil War hero. As it happens, the boy runs into this wizard the next morning and he tells him about the message. But the wizard says, Young man, I'm too old to do this alone. Come along with me and I'll train you in exchange for food. The boy says okay, and together they head to the city looking for a pilot to take them to Fortress Aldebaran, where the princess is held prisoner. They find one at the saloon. When they meet him, he's just about to resolve some unfinished business with a bounty hunter. The pilot agrees to take the job, and they all set off to rescue the princess. On Aldebaran, the Imperial leader and his henchmen interrogate the princess about the location of the secret rebel base, but she defies them, and the Imperials then destroy her home planet with a super weapon. Now just a minute, when did this all happen? Well, a long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away. Yes, but they blew up a planet. I mean, from what I've heard, it really was a savage space war. So, yes, probably, according to my source. Hmm. It took more to get the rebels down, though. Right. Continue. Well, after a small asteroid storm, the farm boy and his friends approach Aldebaran. The entire planet is one big fortress. Once their ship is landed, the robots leave to steal secret documents. The wizard wanders off on his own, and the boy and the pilot dress up as soldiers and head for the cell blocks. They find the princess and immediately bust her out, but are ambushed by soldiers and forced to escape into a scrap compactor. There, the walls begin to rumble and the ceiling comes down on them. Fortunately, they manage to locate a hidden off switch and avert death just in time. Elsewhere in the fortress, the wizard has run into the Imperial henchmen. They start to argue about old times and then pull out their laser swords. The henchman strikes. But the wizard does a disappearing trick and pops up again from a hatch in the hero's ship where his friends are waiting for him. Back at their hidden base, the rebels plan their revenge mission. Specially equipped starfighters will fly through a narrow hazardous fjord called the Kyber Pass in order to fire bombs at the Dam Star, an important strategic point. And so, led by the farm boy, the rebel squadron embarks on its mission warding off AA guns and Imperial fighters as they approach their target. The rebels suffer heavy losses, and things look dire. But with guidance from the wizard via the intercom, the farm boy succeeds in hitting the dam and destroying it, dealing the Empire a heavy blow. The farm boy returns safely to the rebel base, everyone gets a medal for their services, and there it all ends. The adventure of the farm boy who challenged the stormtroopers of a distant galaxy. Wow. Oh yeah. 
that's the whole story. Well, what I remember at least. I got it from this stray robot I came across last month. You don't say. Yeah, his name is, uh, R2-D2, an old astromech. He's in sleep mode now in my storage. Huh, what a tale. Well, I really need to run now, old boy. Thank you for your time. Until we meet again. Sure, until we meet again. Safe travels. Same to you, sir. And may the force be with you.